Welcome back. This is part number two of the first free flag for veterans and first responders. Stay safe, stay alive, and let's Charlie Mike. All right, doing a little bit of glue up. And I use either Gorilla Glue or Tybon 3 uh, specifically because both of those have some good properties to prevent water uh, from messing up your piece. But you can see I use a coal uh, there, which is an extra piece of wood or whatever, um, to clamp to so that way you don't mess up your piece that you've been working on. All right, trying out some uh, different music choices and genres. And uh, how about in the comments, uh, everybody leave a comment as to what kind of music you enjoy. And we'll see if we can start accommodating everybody. Charlie Mike Woodworks, uh, for those of you who do not know, we have two primary uh, missions. The first mission was to um, provide a free flag for all veterans and first responders and then as well as to bring awareness to mental health issues specifically PTSD and depression because there's a lot of people who uh, suffer from both of those and it's our mission so how can we continue to do that if we can monetize this channel and I say we as in all of us all of that monetization will go towards providing first responders and veterans a free flag um, either this size or a little bit smaller but uh, that is our mission and we're gonna make that happen period and after the glue is all dried, what we do is use a paint scraper and uh, literally just scrape off any dried excess glue. Um, on the back, uh, usually I'll have a lot more and it's actually kind of satisfying to uh, scrape off some of that glue. I mean, it's kind of a nice soothing sound and it makes you feel good that you did a good job gluing everything up. As you can see, I like to use templates um, when I'm carving. Now, I do use a Dremel tool. Um, I have the Dremel 4300 and with the, uh, the flex shaft. Um, it just makes everything a lot easier. And I'll leave some links for those uh, down below. Um, first, you know, use a template to actually just kind of outline, go all the way around as you can as you can see, and then. Uh, what I have found to be easier or easiest is to do a certain portion of the stars in a certain way and then I'll turn the flag and do the rest of the stars and you'll see here in a minute what I mean and this is exactly what I'm talking about right here if you look what it ends up providing is uh, everything to be carved most of the time, almost 100% of the time, uh, in the same direction. Here I am using uh, another template, obviously, uh, to carve out the U.S. Army. And yes, I have one uh, for all the branches with the exception of the Space Force. Oh God, don't look at that bald head. Looks like we're done carving out my brother's name, Benjamin Evans. And a good old thumbs up. When my wife and I first started dating, she asked me if I had a nail gun. I said, no, do I need one? And her reply was, well, it does determine how useful you are. So I'll burn around the edges on the back so that it looks uniform. So I use a little bit of water and then put my brand on it for about a second, maybe a second and a half. And watch it pop. And to finish everything off, a little spray shellac 
kind of brings out the deep colors and everything. And you just do it in a sweeping motion and that'll make it happen. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and let's Charlie Mike.